TPC helped me in my faith journey by teaching me to connect with others, to help me grow my own faith. And being in the youth group has really helped me to do that as well, and particularly the summer trips. Um, being able to connect with people from other churches really just helped me grow my own faith with God. It's really, it's, it showed me a lot of really good lessons. Uh, it showed me the, the importance of family. Um, as I've really grown in, in relationships with everyone in the youth group and within the church, and I've been welcomed into this church with open arms, and it just showed me showed me what a really good family and community can can do for someone. My faith has always played a really big part in my life. Um, the church has been so it's been so instrumental in my faith because they like everybody in the church has always been so supportive of all my decisions, and they've always just been there to help me mature in my faith. I've always felt like PPC has been at home since middle school when I first started coming to church and like elementary school and all that. And I felt like I could always come to like here and feel like I was like a part of the family and I made pl plenty and tons of friends through my years here and I've just enjoyed every second through and they've like helped me through hard times and been there through the good and bad. I've loved every second of it. My faith, to me, it's, it's really important. Um, I think I just have to make sure to like focus on God because he, you know, he's really important. And uh, I think it's just important to like really focus on your faith because it's really important and it shapes who you are as a person. This church has been like, it's been more of a hot spot for like forming relationships and friendships along the way. And especially with my faith, it's just been involving and growing and lean to different like outcomes and possibilities as well. With everything that's been going on with the pandemic and all that, it's just been like hard because like everything's been brought into question because having all this time to stay at home, you really start just to question everything kind of thing. And you realize like how strong your faith can like help you get through all that stuff and any times of doubt and any times like troubles like through the whole COVID pandemic. I would say during that time when we had to stay at home basically for two years for school, it was one of the most troubling times I had because it's just my whole life just kind of went in a, like a downward direction, especially because it's my junior year and I took four AP classes and I only passed one of them. So it was, it was terrible. It's been hard. Uh, I think it's a, it's a lot easier to uh, be strong in your faith whenever you have people around you and, and for those few years that we weren't able to be together, it, it made it very difficult, but uh, being able to come together now and, and in these recent uh, months in this past year that we've been able to really come together and worship together, it's just helped my faith grow just tremendously and I'm, I'm so blessed and so thankful for that. I think it was a good challenge because it did help me grow and it helped me to adapt and it helped me to learn to grow my faith in other ways by just praying by myself, by reading my Bible, by doing Bible challenges, by engaging in, uh, in other ways. The pandemic, I feel like, has really grown my faith a lot. I've had more downtime to um, kind of think about and grow in my faith and really spend time praying and reading the Bible. Um, and it just showed me that I can pretty much overcome anything, especially if I have God. I think just going through a lot of change, it can be really scary, but I think just growing up in the church and having God with me, it just helps me know that everything is gonna work out the way it's supposed to and that He has a plan for me. I think I'm gonna just be exposed to so many new things that I've never been exposed to before. And I think that my faith is going to have to be a priority in my life. Just being able to put myself out there and meet new people. So I think that finding people that are similar to me and have similar faiths as me, but also finding people that are different than me and have different beliefs that will challenge my beliefs so that I can have engaging conversations and learn from them and they can learn from me. And hopefully I'll be able to spread the word of God to them as well. I think my biggest challenge I will face is just like making sure to just stay on top of my faith as a whole. And with this community I have now, it, it has taught me like how to overcome these challenges and like what to do if I ever like 
distance myself away from my faith as well and like what to do to come back and everything. It's just this church has really showed me the importance of faith and the importance that a faith community can have on me. And so one of the first things that I want to do whenever I get up to West Point is, is find my church and find that faith community because I know that the faith community not only helps you grow in your faith and in your walk with God, but it also helps you just in life. And through all the troubles and through all the hardships that I face, if I have that faith community, I know I'll be able to get through it. First, like having your faith, it's, it's just nice. It's a reminder that everything's going to work out the way it's supposed to because, you know, if we're about to go through a lot of change and it's going to be really new and different. I think in college, I think the biggest struggle with my faith will be just remembering to make time for it because I know that college, it can get really crazy and busy, but I think just making sure that you put time for God is really important. Being able to like stay focused just on, I don't know, just on my grades and just being a good person, I think that just sitting back and thinking about like everything that I've been brought up and taught through the church and all that, like how I should react and respond to everything I do that will help me hopefully throughout my college years. My words of wisdom to them are to stick with it. I know it may seem like senior year, I want to, you know, skip a couple youth groups, stop going. The people are there, those people are your family, and they're going to be there when times get hard. And if you're ever having a rough day, a rough night, you can always send them a text and they're always going to be there for you because I know that there's people in the youth group that have always been there for me no matter what. Find what you think your purpose is and your goal in life and just no matter what, no matter what anyone thinks about it, just you do you and just do whatever you have to do to get there. And always remember who's brought you to this point and always thank them and always remember that PPC and all the youth people and everyone in this congregation is always here for you if you need anything. I think just remember to make time for God and remember that He is always on your side and if something doesn't go the way that you plan, it'll all work out in the end and just to really enjoy your time here. I would say to stay, try to stay involved in the church and even I feel like everything has something to do with God and your faith and you need to use that to your advantage in everything you do and every challenge you overcome. I would say take every chance you get, it's very cliche, but yeah, take every chance that you have because especially with me being in my senior year, I've kind of just came with the idea, I was like, oh, this is like my last year. I don't, no one really cares about what I do, like, like who I am anymore. I'm just gonna like, take all the experiences I can. Just continue to love one another and be there for, for one another. That's one thing that I've, that I've really carried through uh, my last four years of high school, is that the more you love one another, the, the better life gets and the, and the more of an impact you have on other people. Thank you for putting up with me. I will hold on to like each and every one of um, them like very closely in my heart when I go to college or like I move away after college or whatever, whatever's gonna happen with my life in like 15 to 20 years. I wanna say thank you um, for all the support. I think through high school I've gone through a lot and um, just knowing that I have everybody here has really helped me um, through that and then helped me prepare for the next phase of life. I just wanted to say thank you for giving me, I feel like I had such a good childhood growing up here. Um, this church was such a big part of my childhood. I remember Kingdom Kids and being an acolyte when I was younger, that was such a big deal to me. All of those memories have shaped who I am today and I'm really grateful that I was able to be a part of this community and that it has been a part of my life and that's something that I will always carry with me as I continue my journey. There's too much to really say, so like I can't even put it in words, but thank you for everything that you guys have done for me and brought me to this point. I would just like to thank the congregation to, for being so supportive of everything that I do and always being there for me, even if they don't know me very well. Uh, thank you for, for all y'all have done for me in, in the short time that, that I've known many of you. Uh, y'all have really had a really big impact on me and I just can't thank y'all enough for that. Mm -hmm.